it is essentially describing how the different markers on a tool are arranged relative to each other. So it's essentially in a local coordinate system. So you pick a random 0, 0, 0 coordinate and define the axis and then you define where are the markers relative to each other. So in this case, it's a four marker tool with four spheres and uh, it just defines where those markers are. Now that's important because the system, a, it also needs to know ahead of time the description of this geometry. So the, you load uh, what we call a tool definition file onto the system and the system will then use that information to find uh, in the sea of markers that it measures which markers belong to this tool. So there's a marker association happening and that will uh, then give the system the uh, possibility to calculate uh, what we call a 60 pose transformation. So it's the position in space, but also the orientation of the tool. So that's the requirement for the system to find the tool. The, is, the, the requirement for the system to find the tool is the, uh, the geometry uh, description. Well, marker geometry refers to the formation of the markers on a face of a tool. And uh, depending on which kind of uh, tracking uh, algorithm we want to apply to those marker geometries, um, it'll uh, determine how we lay out those markers uh, on the tool. So in our system, say for passive uh, tools or Redex-based tools, you'd have a unique geometry. Uh, in that case, we care about um, segment lengths and angles between segments that uh, determine its uniqueness of its geometry. And that's how we can tell one tool from another. On active markers, we have a bit more latitude in that we can characterize the markers uh, in, in situ. And then um, we can use that information uh, later on to turn on individual markers and track them uh, with a known correspondence to which marker on the tool it is. One of the things with passive tools that is different from active tools. For example, here's an active tool. You can see it's a perfect square. There's four markers on there and they are arranged in a perfect geometrical square. We can track this because on an active wired tool, we control each marker. So we can turn each marker on individually and we can determine which marker is which. On a passive tool, we cannot do that. So we're seeing all markers at once. So in order to not have ambiguity here, we need to make this geometry non-symmetrical. So we call this our unique geometry. Um, there are certain rules that the designer of the tool has to follow so we can determine exactly which marker is which. So there's one big difference between active and passive tools uh, that should also be taken into consideration.